Sabrina Carpenter. I'm really late to the game with her, but I have done two reactions so far. And uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about how she was going to be releasing this new song. So I got Espresso here <laughs> uh, on YouTube. And we're going to go ahead and react to this. Let's see. Sabrina Carpenter, Espresso, official music video. Let's check it out. All right, right away, I'm already noticing that disco font. Isn't that font disco? I'm always saying 2024 is the year of the callback. Sounds like the volume just got turned down. Once I made the claim on like the second reaction video I did for Sabrina Carpenter that she was R&B and someone said no, she's actually more pop. Uh, this I wouldn't even necessarily call like this specifically pop. Again, this sounds like this sounds like disco to me. And 2024, it just sounds like the callback year, right? No one has been able to corroborate this in the comments, but does it not feel like that? Like everything about 2024 in the music world feels retro like there's things calling calling back that was so sassy <laughs> my give a f's i'm okay with cursing but we're keeping it clean on this channel uh are on vacation that's so sassy that's one thing i have seen as like a running theme with sabrina carpenter is like she has the sass that she puts into her music. I really like that. Also, the aesthetic of this music video, hold on, I'm just now noticing in the background that they're not actually at a beach. This is like a lake, and you can clearly see that br bridge in the back. I don't know, kind of kind of interesting to me. Even just the aesthetic of this music video also feels retro, right? Obviously. And uh, I got to say, I really like the aesthetic. Like, uh, you can tell that a lot of thought went into all of the colors, even the filter that they're using on this camera. Like how, how cool is that? Just like the little, I, I love these creative decisions right here with a little sun visor that says espresso. So it casts the shadow of espresso on her face. It's like these little small choices that I think are, are just so cool when it comes to like these music video uh, creative decisions. Fun song. It's a fun song. It's catchy. Makes you want to dance. And yeah, I, I definitely see because I've said that you know Sabrina Carpenter. I thought she was R and B because I heard nonsense. You know, I definitely am now finding more music from her that obviously confirms she's not R and B. But this is good. This is a fun song. I like it and. Dare I say, I kind of like the music video almost more than the song as of right now, only because I'm just so 
I'm very visual and I just like all of the little color choices. Like even when they did that top down shot with all the surfboards and whatnot, obviously you can tell they chose the exact color of that surfboard and which one was going to be placed where for like color theory. You know what I mean? I'm an artist myself, right? I always, I got these paintings in the background. So I just get really, I get really into, you know, the visual components. I think I lost a little bit of the story. Like, I don't know exactly what's going on here. <laughs> Even that was like just like a little bit. Yeah, that sassiness. It's like sassiness is like part of her brand, you know? Was that the same song playing at the end there? Or was that like a, a hint of what it was going to like be one of her next releases? Anyways, that was Sabrina Carpenter. Espresso. I thought it was a really fun song. It sounds very disco to me. It makes you want to dance. I thought the music video was uh, really well thought out, really well planned, as just as far as the visual color aspect of it goes and everything. I loved it. I thought it was great, and I'm looking forward to uh, what more Sabrina Carpenter has to offer this year because I, I feel like 2024, early 2025, is going to be the best time of Sabrina Carpenter's life right? All right. Thanks for watching.